Hi Aquarius, this week we've got a full moon, it is in the sign of Capricorn and it is a really big full moon because it's going to be conjunct Pluto. So Pluto has this very transformative, uh, transformative approach to um, life, right? Pluto is like, if it's not working, then it's got to end so that we can make space for the new. It's about change, it's about empowerment, you know, saying to yourself, is this working? No, I'm gonna have to do something about that. And so it's really about um, having the power to choose what you want, right? So a lot of the time um, things happen and we feel like, oh, it's fate or it's destiny or, you know, I'm going with the flow and things are gonna just come to me and I'll just react to them and I'll just follow that guidance. And that's really wonderful, you know, it's very trusting. But sometimes there is a need for us to empower ourselves enough to say, actually, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to do it. And so this particular full moon is a lot to do with that because Capricorn is this energy of the mountain goat, you know. He looks to the point where he wants to move towards and then he just does it, you know. He trusts that he can do it and then he motivates himself to do it. So there's a real empowering energy right now. So, your cards are the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So, um, the Eight of Pentacles is about working hard, uh, putting your all into something. So, this is about learning a new skill, uh, keep practicing something, keep moving forwards, keep doing something so that you keep improving. Um, and the Queen of Swords there is about working smart, right? So, don't work too hard, just make sure that you are consistently working, but you're doing it in a way that is smart. You've got a strategy, right? You've got a plan, you know what you're doing. And that is going to move you forwards in the best way. So guys, if you want a reading, there are links below. Otherwise, have a fabulous full moon and I'll see you next week.